Well, one of its real characters yesterday with the death of Cyril Knowles. It brought to an end one of the saddest stories North East football has known. Cyril's managerial career looked to be really taking off again at Hartlepool when serious illness struck so suddenly in March. After three brain operations, Cyril died early yesterday morning in the Middlesbrough Hospital. The Hartlepool team he had done so much to build learned of the news only hours before their game at Bradford. The players joined together to remember a man who himself had breathed life into an ailing club. Hartlepool chairman Gary Gibson said not just the club, but the whole town had been badly affected by the news. He praised Noel's great sense of humour, saying Cyril had done so much to restore Hartlepool's pride. The 47-year-old Yorkshireman's glamorous playing career began at Middlesbrough. It was at Ayrson Park yesterday that we heard tributes from the man who brought him to Teesside and one of his fellow managers. When he came to Hartlepool, which was a type of job which uh, wasn't easy to start, but Cyril did well there. He made light of it and got down to it. And uh, he was a very volatile character in many, many ways. He didn't suffer fools gladly, as you well know. He was a super player as well. I mean, he was a fantastic player. When, in fact, uh, I saw some clips, of uh, Tottenham clips, and he was outstanding. And, uh, and he, he never got a crack at the top management, but what he did at uh, the lower levels with nothing and his enthusiasm and uh, his character brought uh, success to every team he went to, and uh, he'll be a sad loss to the game. I mean, Jimmy Greaves used to put it wild when he said, uh, people don't run towards Cyril Knowles, they run away from him. And, he, and I think at the end of the day, if we could, you know, put back into song, the old song, Nice One Cyril. I think that's a good epitaph for Cyril Knowles. That affectionately daft record made sure Cyril always had a special place in the hearts of Tottenham fans. But it was those superb skills and that ice cool nerve that really made the fullback stand out. Very little glamour though in his managerial career, but Cyril brought style to Darlington as he led them into the third division for the first time in 18 years. Yet he knew all about the downside of football as well. The sack at Feetums led to a spell at Torquay. But he was always fiercely ambitious as a manager. He returned to the North East to rescue a Hartlepool side in danger of crashing out of the league. An elegant player he may have been, but he was a ferociously demanding boss. He turned Paul into a vibrant, exciting team without any money at all. And suddenly, the whole town was smiling again. The shock of Cyril's illness last March was etched on the players' faces. But they paid him the best possible tribute by carrying on all the way to promotion. Their first for 22 years. The celebrations were understandable after so much emotion. A real personality like Cyril would have loved it all.